Hi, this is Mike. Uh, last time I showed you a demonstration video for the Chi Chi compiler for Fantasy Baseball. Today I'm going to show a demo for DraftBuddy for Fantasy Baseball. And what DraftBuddy does is it pulls in the cheat sheets from the compiler for your league that we created and it helps you track your draft. So uh, let me go through some of the features of DraftBuddy and why this is a great, uh, great little tool on draft day. Uh, first you're going to pull the cheat sheets in from the compiler pretty straightforward by hitting set up draft buddy uh, in this program and then inputting the team names right here and then just checking off which team is yours uh, so that's kind of the start and setup tab and uh, let's run through the rest of the tabs and see what we have here the summary tab is kind of a snapshot of, of the draft and I've already got this draft going underway here in the middle of the second round uh, it kind of shows the current pick status who's up, uh, how many picks until your next pick, and next two picks in fact. And uh, here's all this, here are the uh, requirements for the league on uh, what positions should be drafted, uh, what positions have been drafted by each team, and yours is highlighted here. Uh, if I scroll a little bit to the right, we got some, uh, some boxes here showing the top ranked players available based on the cheat sheet, the uh, top players uh, based on average draft position, so kind of who we expect to get drafted next. And uh, there's a little snapshot of my roster down here as well. Uh, I can switch these around by positions as well. Right now it's overall, but I go to first base, let's say. And then it switches showing the top ranked players at first base and top average average draft position at first base. Uh, some other quick things. There's a, a countdown timer that can be used for a live draft. Um, this over here is some trash talking sound effects that you can play uh, more effective in a live draft of course but kind of a fun little thing there the next thing here is the draft input tab this is a, essentially a draft report showing uh, the entire draft from uh, for every round showing uh, what the order is um, <clears throat> and basically what players have been drafted uh, if picks or players are traded you can input input those uh, so we can simply you know, change that that pick there from Jeff to Mike because we made a trade and somewhere else along the line I'll switch some of Mike's picks to Jeff um, but this is the draft report and you can input players here on the draft report so uh, say I want to uh, input um, it wasn't Matt Holiday but say it was a first baseman here um, Justin Morneau uh, then we'll just switch that up and and we can do you can do all the players here if you want but there is an easier way which I'll show you in a minute the uh, Roto tab uh, only applies to rotisserie leagues, of course, but it shows the projected Roto standings based on the uh, picks as they're made. So it shows the projections uh, in each category. Uh, it shows the Roto points that would be scored. Um, uh, and this updates for every single pick that's, that's made, again, only for Roto leagues, uh, not fantasy points leagues. The, uh, the Buy Team tab uh, shows the uh, the rosters for every team, which is kind of important. So it shows uh, what positions have been drafted by each team. You kind of judge who's going to get uh, what positions players are or other players in your league are are looking at uh, going forward because they have to cover off all the positions. And uh, you can open these up for a little more information, showing the the player, the team. Uh, in this case, the roto league, so it shows the the dollar value off the cheat sheet. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty straightforward. It shows all the teams here. You just have to scroll a bit to the right to see them all. Okay, the uh, here are the cheat sheets tab. So it's the hitters tab. Remember in the compiler we had three cheat sheets. We had hitters, pitchers, and overall. So uh, right here we have the hitters cheat sheet right here. The uh, the pitchers on the next tab, and overall uh, on the third tab right here. So they're all easy to access. Uh, they're each on their own tab in this case. And uh, the way these are set up is I, I call it the left side, right side. So the left side cheat sheet is all the players remaining. Uh, so you can see the players that have been drafted have disappeared here. So it's easy to see who's left in your draft. Uh, we have Pujols number one, of course, at first base, but he's gone. So that is blanked out. Uh, but the right side cheat sheet, if I just scroll over to the right here, this shows all the players. So these are all the players uh, that came. Uh, this is the cheat sheet that came right out of the cheat sheet compiler, uh, showing all the players here. And uh, the reason some of these boxes are yellow is because you can actually re-rank uh, the players right in draft buddy. So you don't want to mess around with the projections that are in the compiler. You can just grab draft buddy, um, get the cheat sheets in here, kind of starting point, and then change the rankings, change the dollar value, and sort them using the re-rank buttons. 
and then you have new rankings, uh, you know, that are more your own than are coming right out of the compiler. Now, uh, but the important thing is here, the left side uh, is what you're going to be looking at mostly, uh, which shows the players that were gone, and you kind of quickly, quickly identify, okay, what, what players are left and who am I targeting uh, for this draft pick. Uh, same pitchers tab is set up the exact same way right here. Uh, the overall tab is set up the same way, uh, showing the overall rankings. Uh, shows the uh, here's the cheat sheet as it came out of the compiler. Here is the players remaining um, for your for your draft. Now I was going to show you an easier way to draft players, and I'm going to do that right here on the hitters tab. So uh, let's say that uh, someone wants to draft Jose Reyes, uh, and I know who's up next. It shows right here current pick is 2.06 Terry. So Terry wants to draft Jose Reyes. And all you have to do is click on this name and then hit draft player. Okay. And if I go to the draft input tab, it shows Jose Reyes came in at pick 2.06 for Terry and it updated. The next pick is Ian's at 2.07. All right. So that's a much easier way to do it than, than doing the drop downs over here, which you can do, but, you know, simply click on the name, Hit draft player, and there you go. And the pitcher's tab works the same way. You know, say holidays next up for John, 2.08. Click on his name, draft player. Overall tab's the same way. And we can see these players disappeared that we just drafted. Uh, you can click on a name, draft player. ADP tab, same way. So here's the ADP tab that came from the compiler on the right side. And then it shows the players remaining over on the left side. Um, and then you can kind of quickly see from the ADP, who we expect to get drafted next, and you kind of judge who who you want to draft coming up and whether that person is going to be available or not. Here is the uh, depth tab. Remember the depth chart was also in the compiler. Um, and here's the right side that was copied over from the compiler. And the left side are the players remaining. So we can see some players missing here um, that have been drafted already. And again, you can, you can draft right off of here if you want to, um, although these aren't the rankings, of course. Uh, we have a couple other tabs here. The uh, <clears throat> just shows the players as they're drafted by position. You kind of review later, um, and by round, it's a little, you know, we just kind of go back and forth. You also like this view. So there's an overview of draft, buddy. I guess I'll just add a couple more things. If you had an auction draft, then this draft input tab would be an auction input tab. Uh, so a little bit different. The uh, if you have keepers, then a keepers tab would open up, and uh, you would see the uh, draft buddy would do that automatically when you run the setup. You put the keepers, and then those players will drop off the cheat sheets as you uh, as the keepers are input, and then you're ready to start your draft. So uh, there's an overview of draft buddy. Um, it's available at uh, draftbuddy.com.